I was born into a blended family, a Pacifica family. Mum being from Tokelau and Dad is from the Tongan Islands. When I was young, I was abused from the age of six till I was about 10. When I was going through this abuse, I thought it was normal, but I felt it was wrong. When I knew that it was gonna happen again, I'll start feeling that anxiety. The effect that it had on me was, as I got older, I was confused, angry, um, lost. I was doing drugs at a young age. I was actually smoking at a young age. I left home at the age of 18. I was living from place to place in and out of broken relationships. The reason why I was doing all of this was because I was actually calling for help. Years later down the track, my husband and I had my daughter and then my family all moved overseas. A whole lot of things began to change when my husband and I were going through a really rough patch and I knew the only way for me to get help and the only person I knew I could get help from was from God. When I started attending church, I began on a journey where I started noticing the changes in my behaviour because of my isolation time that I had with God. Growing up, I had a religious upbringing. Comparing to my relationship with God now, it was more freer, it was genuine. I felt safe. Random doors were opening for me. And that's when I came to realise that, yeah, it was time to make a decision to give my life completely over to Him. I got baptised and it was the happiest but the most saddest day because I didn't have anyone around. Our family had a big fallout for seven years. My mum and dad said for all of us, the, the family, to come together again. I was feeling really uncomfortable because of the underlying issues. I knew that God had forgiven me, so um, in my heart I had forgiven the abuser, but still it needed addressing. I wanted how God had healed me, heal our family. And because of my relationship that I had with God, I knew that I could make a stand because Jesus always addressed stuff that weren't right anyway, so I was done hiding. I contacted my parents and I told them what had happened. Obviously, mum and dad were pretty upset. I wanted to um, get in touch with the abuser. The person did say that it happened. However, the person said the reason why, and then it went back to the person being a victim again. We later discovered that others in the family um, we're experiencing the same thing. So that's got to stop. And I know that God can help. I wanted to break the cycle. The result from that is that there is a sense of peace in the family now than there was before because it's not fake anymore. I feel more confident that now my daughter can be um, part of the family gatherings. Looking back, I never thought that this would be my journey. As a New Zealand born, but come from a Pacifica descent, I believe that it's something that has been running in the Pacifica. And I think everyone deserves to be set free. Because there's a lot of Pacificas out there that wouldn't even talk about it. They won't. It's the shame. I think I lost my confidence when I lost my voice to ask for help. But I found courage to speak because God had changed me. I was set free and I just knew it was possible for others to experience the same freedom.